So I don't know if this is something that's been talked about much. It seems like so far all season, there's been some kind of a controversy with AMA and how they're handling certain situations. And it kind of seems like they're just making up some rules as they go. Obviously, there was Roxon with his Red Cross flag incident. There was Wilson with the blue flags. I haven't really checked to see if this is something that's been talked about at all. But on Tuesday, Indianapolis 2, round 5, in the 250 class, Jet Lawrence unfortunately was not able to make the main. Mitchell Oldenburg was chosen as his alternate. And if you go to the results, somehow Lawrence got a point without racing the main event. I don't think this is anything that's that, I don't think that this is that big of a deal, but it caught my eye because I I definitely didn't think that that Jet would have gotten a point. So I went into the rule book just to see what it says, if there's anything, and and I found found one thing when it comes to the championship points, and it says that when the results of Supercross main events are declared official, Monster Energy AMA Supercross and FIM World Championship points will be awarded down to a maximum of 22 places for the overall results of the main events. So it does say in the rule book that they only give points to a maximum of 22 positions. And yet, they got they got 23. Like I said, I don't think this is a big deal. Jet's pretty far out of the championship now. It doesn't seem like this one point's going to make any difference at the end of the season. I just thought this was something that was pretty interesting and now it's like the third time that I, I feel like there's been some controversy with with AMA that they're they're kind of making up rules as they go or ignoring rules as they go I mean what's the point of having a rule book if you're not going to follow it I'm sure somewhere in the rules it says that everything is up to the discretion of race directors all the rules and they can be changed uh, at any time, given whatever the race directors want to do. I'm sure it says that in there somewhere, but it does seem kind of weird that they're not following it like they should be. I feel like they should be. I don't know. That's just weird. There's 23 positions that got points. There's 23 dudes that got points. And in the in the rule book, it says only 22 riders can get points. But it's just weird. It's just weird. I don't know what to say now. I don't know if you guys caught this, but... There was only four riders in that main event that did not get lapped. And those four riders were the only factory riders out there. So everybody that wasn't a factory rider got lapped. And that's mostly because there's four factory riders that weren't in the main, that were in the main at the beginning of the year. Because we got Hampshire and Forkner, Voland, all hurt. And then Lawrence was hurt in D2. I thought that was kind of crazy. That just shows how fast factory riders are compared to a, a, a privateer. Anyways, I thought that was interesting. That again, they're not really following the rule book. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that. I personally, I don't care that Jet got a point. I just think it's interesting that AMA is not following their own rules. Yeah. <laughs>